Go to Edit, Preferences, remove the old version and install the new zip file. The Importer Now allows user to choose which hair part to be imported. By toggle them on or off. More on the simple hair toggle later. Select one or more of the placement mesh to bend them accordingly. Use eyedropper to select the shrink wrap target, in this case, the head. Use the visibility toggle to hide and unhide the placement control mesh and actual mesh that generate hairs. When you select a hair part, its specific control panel shows up. Previous and next eyelash buttons will cycle through each eyelash type. Hair subdivision slider will adjust how smooth the hair looks. Thin and thick buttons will adjust the hair density. Hair length slider will adjust hair length. Random seed will adjust the hair distribution. If the children hair use interpolated method, it will redistribution within the defined vertex group. When simple method is chose, randomize within a certain radius. Random shape will change within certain roughness threshold. If the render engine is not cycles, it will prompt to switch to cycles, since the hair material is using principled hair shader. Lower melanin value will change hair color towards white. While going up, it changes to yellow, brown, then black. Melanin redness will add red color to it. Tint will add user defined tint color to it. Random color will add variable to the default color. Hair diameter will change how thick the hair looks. By default, the hair display is strand, but you can change to display strip to have more controls. In this update, user has the option to transfer the hairs to custom mesh. There are two options here. First one is transfer hair. It requires a target head to begin with. It will transfer all the particle systems to your head mesh, including relevant vertex groups. At the same time, the add-on meshes are deleted, leaving a clean scene for your head mesh. In this case, there are vertex groups need to be transferred over, and the head mesh is dense enough to capture the vertex groups. It should work fine. Notice one eyelash mesh does not shrink wrap to a target. It will be deleted during the transfer. The other option is to clean up the hair, which will delete all other unused hair meshes within the same hair category and bind the hair mesh to the target. It will move along with the target head and its facial animations. Optionally, you can only show the hair and hide the mesh by uncheck show emitter under viewport display. When the target mesh is low poly like this sphere, Using transfer hair will not work well, as it does not have enough polygon to retain the vertex group's shapes. So there is the simple hair toggle. It will import a visually similar hair part, but all of the hair's children use simple instead of interpolated method. Hence, it does not have polygon density restriction for vertex groups. Depends on your situation, toggle simple hair on or off accordingly. Eyebrow, eyelash and beard all have similar control panels. At the very bottom, it offers a quick way to adjust children hair count, length etc. without switching particle hair systems and scroll up and down to adjust. Match render hairs will set children hair render amount to its display amount.
Haircut is more complex than facial hairs, so it has a few more controls. Previous and next haircut will cycle through all. All particle hairs are made in the default hair mesh, hairs follow the mesh normal. When the mesh is shrink-wrapped to a target, its shape changes, so does the hairs. Position toggle offers a quick way to see the changes. In some case, the hair shape does not fit the target shape very well, as you can see here. Refresh hair position button will project the selected hair system from its original position to the shrink-wrapped position, disregard the mesh normal changes. Sometimes it will offer better fit, otherwise manual tweak is required. Please note, it will only affect currently active particle system. Manually switch to other hair particle system if additional position adjustment is needed. Add new empty particle hair will add new particle hair system with predefined values and vertex group. Simply paint where hair should distribute. Hair element panel offers 30 pre-made hair parts to be quickly added. If refreshed hair position works better in your case, you can turn auto adjust on. So that when adding new hair element, the hair position is automatically adjusted. Since refresh hair position uses projection and disregard the mesh normal change, it may offer different result quickly. But I would not overdo it. When adding new hair strand, the hair length option is grayed out. Added hair length slider will adjust how long a new hair strand is. If it is too long or too short, you can adjust accordingly. Added hair points will adjust how many knots a new strand has. When hair length lock is off, individual hair point can be stretched freely. When position lock is off, the hair root can be moved freely. Turn X-ray on to see them clearly. When the hair root is off the mesh surface, use projection hair to surface to move it back. Turn them on or off to better define hair shapes and position. Hair strand shape preset offers quick way to break generic hair looks. Use the slider to adjust its weight. User defined low and high children hair amount can be switched around using the toggle button. As working with lower hair amount has better viewport performance. When done with grooming, switch to high to see the result. The rest of the controls are similar with other facial hair parts. Hope this new update can better assist your hair creation process. Thank you.